Final leg, day four of the World Championships, just finished off in Doha, Qatar. Of course, we had a lot of finals today, both on the track and in the field. Kicking things off with the last event of the evening, the men's 400-meter hurdles, probably one of the most highly anticipated events of the actual competition. We saw a great competition. The big three ended up meddling here. We had Carson Warholm, Ryde Benjamin, and Samba coming into the meet. Warholm managed to defend his title. He ran away with it 47.44 seconds. Not the world record or the fast times that we were expecting, but still a dominant performance. We had Rye Benjamin right behind him in 47.66 seconds and then Samba. He managed to come up for third in 48.03 seconds. So great performance there. Warholm, like he usually does, goes out fast. Held it all the way through to the finish. Rye Benjamin probably didn't go out as fast as we would have expected, but he also did have some issues. He hit the last hurdle, but came up for second, so really great prize for him there. And then Samba, he was way far behind, even into the 100 meters, and he really kicked things into gear, getting that bronze medal, which is really great performance because of the season that he's had with injury so great there Carson Warholm probably having one of the best seasons for a 400 meter hurdler in history in back in the day we had Edwin Moses he managed to go under 47.5 seconds three times in one season last year we had Samba go under 47.5 four, four times in one season this year though Carson Warholm has gone under 47.5 six times in one season capping that off with the 46.92 the number two time all time in history a couple weeks go and then of course the world championship title here so great performance by Carson Warholm. Now in the men's 5,000 meters this was a really really great race very tactical but also very fast. Mukhtar Edris from Ethiopia he managed to take the win he is the defending champion from 2017. He didn't run most of this season he was kind of a question mark coming in but he took that win 12 minutes 58.85 seconds so great performance from him he was working together with his teammate Selman Borrega who managed to come up for second place in 12 minutes 59.6 70 and then they came up with third for Mo Ahmed from Canada. He managed to come up with third in 1301.11. Uh, so great performances by all these guys. Paul Chilimo, he was in the race for the United States, but he ended up falling back. Also the Ingebrigtsen brothers, they had all three of them there, but Henrik, he managed to fall off the pace, not finishing really high up. And then we had Jakob Ingebrigtsen coming up really close, holding on most of the race, but then he faltered in the final straight. So great performances by all these guys. Again, Mukhtar Edris from Ethiopia taking that win in the 5,000 meters. Now in the women's 3,000 meters steeplechase, we have Beatrice Chepkowicz, the world record holder from last year, and also the dominant clear favorite coming into the meet this year. She managed to take things out very quickly, knowing that the rest of the field wasn't going to be able to run with her if she went out fast, and that strategy paid off. She managed to come away with a very easy win, 8 minutes, 57.84 seconds. Championship record, setting herself up really nicely for the Olympics in Tokyo next year. Right behind her in silver, we had the 2017 world champion Emma Coburn trying to go for a defense but of course coming up for silver she ran a personal best though of 902.35 so really great performance for her there then in third place we had Krause from Germany she came up really strong for the bronze medal in 903.30 so great performance that's a number two European time in history so she really came up strong but again Beatrice Chepkowicz from Kenya taking that title in the women's 3000 meter stupid chase now moving over to the women's high jump we have Maria Lasiskene she was on a roll she had zero misses all the way through 2.04 meters that was a good enough to take the gold medal another gold medal for one of the most dominant high jumpers that we've seen in history Lasiskene from Russia very clean performance there in second place she had some competition Malchik from Ukraine she managed to come up jumping 204 as well but she had a lot of misses through the rest of the meet but she did jump that 204 getting her a world junior record so great performance from her in the bronze medal position we had Vashti Cunningham from the United States she managed to jump two meters flat getting a personal best there but again Again, Lassiskene showing that she is one of the most dominant high jumpers in history. She took a couple attempts at 208, which would have been the second highest jump in history, but didn't complete it there. But she's setting herself up very well to go for an uh, Olympic title in Tokyo next year. So great performance from Lassiskene. Now in the women's 800 meters, a little controversy, but we did see Nakai from Uganda. She managed to take the win in 158.04 seconds. Ajay Wilson, who was a clear favorite coming into the meet, she led the race for most of the race until about the last 100 meters where she started to struggle which allowed Nakai to take the lead and surpass her. Aji Wilson though she actually only finished in the bronze medal position. Her teammate Raven Rogers she managed to come up for second place in 158.18 seconds so great performance for Rogers. Rogers was a little back in the pack for most of the race and then she came on really strong in the last 100 meters. If she was a little bit closer she probably could have gotten that gold medal but again Nakai coming up for the for the gold medal and then Rogers and then we saw Wilson in third place. 
Now in the men's discus throw, we had a great competition. Of course, Frederick Dackers from Jamaica was coming in competing against Daniel Stahl from Sweden, but Stahl managed to get the best of him, showing that he's the most dominant discus thrower right now. He got the win in a best of 67.59 meters. Not a season's best or world leading performance, but again, showing that he is the most dominant discus thrower right now. Dackers came up for second, getting Jamaica another medal and another spot on the podium. And then from Austria, we, we had Y Time Dinger coming up for third place there. So great performance again from Stahl in that discus throw. So those are finals that went down. Of course, we had some other races, heats, and semifinals. The men's 200 meter semifinals, Noah Lyles running 19.86 to get the win going into the finals tomorrow. We also had the men's 110 hurdles. We had the women's 200 and the women's 400 meters. And then also in the men's 110 hurdles, great performances. Most of the favorites got through, but Daniel Roberts from the United States, who was one of the favorites, he unfortunately got disqualified. He hit a hurdle in his opponent's lane next to him. So kind of impeding him opponent and unfortunately had to be disqualified. So he's probably the only one who's not going to be going on to the next round out of the favorites. But most of the favorites are going through in most of the events. So keep a lookout for the finals coming up tomorrow. We're going to see a lot more performances through the week. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment on your favorite performance from day four of the World Championships. And we'll be back again very soon. Thanks.